Watch this short video to learn how the Admix Mayo Mill is revolutionizing the way mayonnaise and whip salad dressings are made. Peter Leitner, Admix's Dressings and Sauces Market Manager, discusses the Admix Mayo Mill with Patrick Young, Food Engineering's Editor at the PAC Expo. Patrick, this is our new Mayo Mill product. Uh, Peter, can you tell us a little bit about the challenges that your customers face that led kind of to the development of this new product? Absolutely. You know, there's, there's really four key things that we want to focus in on as we started to develop this. One was capacity. Um, the current technology that's been on the market um, typically limited to 40 to 60 gallons a minute maximum flow capacity. As here we are at the Pack Expo, all the filling equipment and the packaging machinery that's out there can allow customers to go to much higher speeds, but the equipment really couldn't keep up with it. We have sizes now up through 110 gallons a minute, so we've almost doubled the capacity of the products that are currently on the market today. The, the, the next thing was cleanability. Um, one of the things that I think that Admix has always focused on, we're very, very active in 3A and E hedge in Europe, all of that, all of those standards that are developed to really clean machines. There is not one Mayo finishing machine, a colloid mill is really what's been typical of this, there is not one on the market that is truly CIPable. We address that utilizing our Boston Shear Mill platform and then completely starting over again and developing work heads or, or shear impellers that would that would bring the maximum quality to the emulsion that's being created in, in mayonnaise. The other thing that we saw as we were in the plants, mayonnaise is a very viscous product. A lot of times now where kitchens are kept separate from the filling lines, we have long runs of piping that take the product out to the plant. And, and what was happening was because of the high viscosity, the pump pressures had to be so high. A constant problem for these processors is in these colloid mills was the, the mechanical seals constantly blowing and constantly needing maintenance. We've been able to develop a seal based on the experience we've had in the tomato industry on, on tomato paste manufacturing and now have seals that are capable of handling 700 psi of line pressure all day long. Really the, the, the other thing that we saw, and this really brought our science in, was in working very closely with the R&D folks in most of the in, in major mayonnaise manufacturers and, and a lot of the smaller ones too, was, was that milling and finishing of mayonnaise is a very finicky process in a colloid mill. The, the emulsion can break very, very quickly. So one of my goals with this was really to take and, and, and come up with a device that I'll say has a wider sweet spot. It wasn't so finicky. It could take the challenges of oil temperature changes in the plant egg temperature changes in the plant, and, 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 and changing formulas, still being able to produce a consistent product. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've had some amazing results, and, and our customers that we've shown this to have, have grasped this new technology.